comedy line. And our next comedian coming to the stage goes by the name of Julie Weidman. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Weidman. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Mi nombre es Julia Weidman. Me gusta pornografía y Reese's Pieces. Yo creo que el pollo loco es mejor de el Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get all Rosetta Stone on you guys. Oh, it's just so easy to go from a, a few simple words to forming phrases and sentences. I can even think in another language. My mom has a pretty interesting way with words. My friend and I were over the other night and she said, this salmon I made is so good you guys are going to poop yourselves. I don't know if that's really what I'm looking for in a dining experience. But I will say in the case of my friend, she was spot on. I like to do different things to amuse myself. I like to get on an elevator full of people and to start going, pull my finger. Pull it. No, pull it. Or I wait till someone gets off and I'm like, oh my god. I am so glad we got rid of her. <laughs> so negative, right? Ooh, uh, shake it off. Or oh, I love to go up to an absolute stranger and pretend that I know them. I'm like, oh my god, Brad! <sighs> Just to watch that look of horror where they're like, where do I know this chick from? And you're like, oh my god, I haven't seen you since the Peterson's party. Who knew you could ballroom dance? Amazing. Oh yeah. How much fun did we have do, doing coke with that hooker, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta take this, I'll call you back. Or telemarketers, I love telemarketers. It's like, bring, hello. It's like, uh, yeah, hello ma'am, this is Martin calling from the Los Angeles Times. Uh, oh my god, well hello Marty. Don't you just have some amazing timing? We're just about ready to crack open our Bibles for a 6 p.m. study, you heading over? It's like, no ma'am, I'm calling regarding your subscription. Like, I'm sorry, dirty bird. I don't understand what you're saying, but I don't have any prescriptions. Okay, I've been clean and sober for 72 days, Marty. I didn't appreciate that kind of talk. He's like, no, ma'am, I'm calling regarding the paper, your newspaper. Oh, I, I don't get it. I'm sorry, I get all my good news from the Bible. Marty, <laughs> Marty, let me ask you something. Have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior? <laughs> Marty, are you saved? Hello? Hello? Marty? 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 <laughs> Thank you. I think that people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw sex parties. <laughs> but if they do, I'm starting a neighborhood watch. <laughs> Uh, is this voice command feature on your phone just like the mothership of miscommunication? I, I've never felt so misunderstood in my life. It's like, say a command. You're like, call Charles. It's like, did you say call Joe Seth? No. No, I didn't. Let me try it again. Call Marianne. It's like calling Legoland. You're like, Legoland? I don't have that number in my phone. And then it gets an attitude. It's like, oh, you do now? <laughs> About the only thing that this feature does really spot on is it dials that number. You know, that ex-employer you stole the vehicle from or that, that guy with really severe OCD that you had a relationship with and when you had your adult sleepover, he locked himself in the bathroom for three hours just washing up. It's like calling Robert. You're like, no, 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 no. How do I still have that number in my phone? It's like, no. It's like, I'm still calling Robert. You're like, no, no, please don't call Robert. It's like calling Robert. You're like, no, abort, abort. And then you just have to take the battery out of the phone and set it aside. You're like, oh my god, I could have called Robert. But now when you put the battery back in the phone, it's had a taste of power. It's like Hal from Space Odyssey. Any time of day, it's like, say a command. No. <laughs> Come on, say a command. No, I'm not doing that with you anymore. <laughs> it's like calling Robert. 
Oh, no! uh, I called uh, I, on Craigslist. I saw this thing for a beach cruiser, and I called the number, and I'd obviously reached like the number of the man. It was like beep. I've been thinking, 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 trying to get to you in that booty, trying to get to you in that booty. I'd be fitting to get to the phone right now, but if you feeling it, baby girl, holla at your boy. Beep. I was like, really? This is the number your mother calls? <laughs> this is where Carol from the Dollar Tree is like, oh, well, hello there, Daryl. Uh, we certainly enjoyed having you in last week, and uh, we'd love to have you in for a second interview. If this is, in fact, Daryl. <laughs> trying to get to you in that booty. <laughs> I do have a certain level of respect for the people who just go with a factory, pre-recorded message, and about all that they're willing to do is record their name which inevitably always sounds like they're being held for ransom. <laughs> it's like, the person you were trying to reach, Julie Whiteman, is not available. Leave a message, thank you so much.